Hola, hi, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. And today is Sunday, October the 3rd, and we are officially in spooky season. Spooky season for some starts, you know, the first day of fall. For me, I feel like it really starts October 1st when we enter the month of Halloween. And in the spirit of spooky season, I am gonna go ahead and switch up my happy planners. So if you're interested in seeing me set up my mega happy planner, my happy planner solar system for the month of October, just keep on watching. So let me just start taking the stuff off the rings because I need to take uh, the rings off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these pages um, and I'll leave the pages that I think I'm going to transfer over to my new planner here on this side and um, I'll put back all of the planner pages into their respective planners if I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer my folders, my envelopes, my sticky note dashboard. Um, I'm going to transfer over these wellness pages, even the ones that I have already kind of written in. I like to transfer them over because I just like reading them whenever I feel like I need a little bit of a boost in terms of, you know, I need a positive boost. Um, just like a, a reflection, a quiet reflection moment. Just looking back at, you know, what makes me feel comforted, inspired, happy. Um, it helps me. So I'm going to leave the wellness pages in the planner. Then I have my uh, another scrapbook divider. This one is these cute little ghosts. And I have been really loving using paper clips to clip um, the scrapbook paper to the the next page in the in the well in the planner because um, if I don't clip them together, then I'll have like a random weekly page in between uh, because I deconstruct my planner. So the paper clips help me to go straight from the divider to the monthly overview and then the the uh, monthly uh, divider from the planner. So. Anyways, so this is the September um, monthly overview and I just decorated it and see if I take off the paper clips, you'll see that I have the blank page of the scrapbook paper on the back and then the week, the last week in um, the previous month, in this case it was the last week in August, I have that here. And so in order to um, in order to not just have like a blank page and also just a random weekly page, I paper clip them together so that way I can just flip them like that. Anyways, so the scrapbook paper I'm gonna keep, um, I'm gonna keep in the new planner and then I'm gonna return the month of September uh, in this particular section back into the planner it came from and these pages came from this particular planner that says listen to your body this is a wellness fitness well no this is a fitness planner i should say because it has um, prompts specific to fitness but i use it for mental health meditation mindfulness so I'll quickly flip through the spreads that I did this previous month. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, this month was really, really busy for me. And so I feel like I wasn't really in my planner as much as I wanted to, um, which is totally fine. It happens. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this page here because this is the last week. It's currently Sunday. And I do want to journal in it a little bit more later today. So I'm going to leave this in here. Be and also because it has the October overview on the back. And um, I want to keep that in for the month of October. But these pages, I will go ahead and return to the planner that it came from. So we're going to uh, move on over to 
um, back to August here. Let's pop in September and then these pages. This planner is one of my favorites that Happy Planner has come out with. I'm surprised I don't see more people with this planner because it is just so gorgeous and I can't wait to get into it for my fitness. So I originally got this to be my fitness planner because it is an 18 month planner and it started in July of this year and will go through December of next year. I already have my fitness planner up until the end of this year, which is my wrong wrong fitness. So I had like six months of extra planner pages and I went ahead and decided to do something a little bit experimental. I decided to use it as a mental health and mindfulness planner. But once we hit January, this is going to transition into being my fitness planner and um, I'll probably try to continue my mental health journaling in another planner, maybe my like affirmations planner. Um, I definitely don't want to get another planner for mindfulness. Um, so I'll probably try. I definitely don't want to get more planners than however many I have right now. So um, we'll see where that mindfulness kind of comes into play. Um, in my planner solar system, but so this is the month of October This is actually uh, the divider is the same design as the cover page for this Planner and actually I am using the cover page in my other mega happy planner So this is the cover page for that fitness planner it has a very similar design with the clouds and I just love how meditative and calm and beautiful this planner is. I really love when planners use realistic photography um, and so I'm a big fan. So anyways, uh, there's the monthly and then we just have the weekly pages which are a classic fitness layout style. And this month has purple accents. The The colors of the months switch up every month. So next month, November, it looks like it's going to be green accents. So we'll put that to our pile here of pages. And then again, um, this is another uh, planner section. I have some scrapbook paper, again, Halloween themed, kind of separating that from... Um, the previous section, but this is my my journal and I use a horizontal uh, happy planner for this and Yeah, so Some weeks I just don't feel motivated to write in it at all and some weeks I barely write in it and some weeks I spend more time in it and some weeks I uh, I'm kind of like halfway there, halfway not. Uh, very, it really depends on how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out those pages, and I'm like, I'm gonna leave this page here because I still want to journal in it, and also because it has the October overview on the back, and I'll just go ahead and paper clip it to the scrapbook paper. But I'll return these pages to the planner that they came from. This is the floral, hor pressed floral horizontal planner from the Happy Planner. Um, really, really cute design. This is one of the uh, planners along with that fitness one that I just showed you that I knew I definitely wanted to include in my planner lineup um, in 2022. And so right now I'm using it as a diary, as a journal, but um, I'm not sure whether I'll continue to use it for that purpose in the coming year we shall see i sometimes uh like write a lot and i really want to journal and then sometimes i don't really feel like journaling and so it kind of varies week by week um how i feel about journaling but this is the month of october it's gorgeous these designs again i'm such a fan of the realistic florals but this is beautiful there's the monthly calendar and then the weekly pages are horizontal they're lined so they're perfect for writing and um this month we have yellow accents which is cute so we'll add that to the pile we have the november overview again i have scrapbook paper dividing that section from the next and oh my goodness y'all um 
this is my Japanese journal section and I have been not in the mood uh, to practice Japanese at all but sometimes work just is so overwhelming that I just kind of stop doing anything else but work which is really unfortunate so you're gonna see this whole month I didn't do anything starting from the last week in August it's been a month since I worked in this and so we have my September overview the September monthly which I had big goals to use as like a kanji worksheet that didn't happen and I have all these really really cute spreads that just never got filled in and you know just it happens sometimes you just kind of let go of a hobby and I kept on decorating the spreads because I just wanted to motivate myself to keep on going and trying to think about doing Japanese I'm gonna leave these pages in the next uh, for the next month even though it's you know the previous month because I still want to work in them and I can literally sit down for you know three hours and fill all of that up no problem it's just finding the energy and the motivation to do so so we're gonna head we're gonna go ahead and leave those in there um, my next section is also another section that I've been really trying to uh, re-motivate myself for this is my reading journal so uh, we have the September overview that I clip to the scrapbook paper and my September overview has been kind of blank lately I usually try to write words that I've learned on this little vocab sheet here and I just haven't you know gotten around to doing that and then here we have the divider. I put a sticker on it and to decorate it because I wasn't a huge fan of the actual divider. It was a little bit plain. Um, it was just this white with this gold, gold lettering on it. And there's the monthly, September monthly. And um, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit torn with this particular section. I'm still deciding how I want to make it work for me. I was having a lot of fun just writing every week about whatever it was I was reading and that was working for me for a while but then after a while I got kind of bored I got a little bit tired of it I just something wasn't inspiring me about it it just felt a little bit too random and so I decided to switch it up and instead of going week by week and um, writing whatever it is I was writing about um, depending on what I was reading instead of just like randomly writing about whatever it was I was reading I decided to go um, to kind of remove myself from the weekly uh, structure and instead have spreads based on books I'm reading so I was reading the Underground Railroad um, earlier this month and I printed out photos of the book of the Amazon series of the author and I wanted to make a spread just based on the book. And so I was thinking of making spreads based on the on books um, that I'm, I'm reading. And so this would be, this spread here would be another book. And then this spread, I was starting a spread on the Omnivore's Dilemma, which is by um, Michael, Michael? I think it is, Michael Polson, Pollock? I forget exactly his name, the author's name. But this is the author right here. And I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do, but then I'm not sure exactly when I want to like switch out of the monthly view, if that makes sense. Mm. Oh, Michael Pollan. This is the book that I'm reading right now, The Omnivore's Dilemma. The monthly, I like to print out the photos of the books I start and finish in the month and put them in the monthly calendar view so that I can just at a glance see what I was reading um, during the month. But I'm still deciding what I want to do in terms of like, do I want to leave these pages in or what? I maybe am debating just kind of like scrapping all of these pages and starting fresh in the month of October um, maybe that would inspire me a little bit more so I 
yeah let's go ahead and do that so this is the planner that those pages come from this is such a cute planner welcome to the book club um i had a lot of fun with this planner and i've been pretty good about working in it up until these last two months where i feel like i just haven't been as motivated um okay let's see what happened to that oops let's see okay so this page this last page needs to stay because it has the october monthly in it but i just realized that where, what happened to that other page Okay, I seem to have misplaced one of these pages. Oh, here it is. Um, this page right here. So, as you can see, I made a spread, didn't work in it. Let's pop in the month of, Oct of September here. What I might do is just try to start fresh and take these as like practice pages and um, pages that I just, you know, was trying to experiment with. So I'm just gonna le go ahead and leave those in there. I'm gonna pull for the month of October here. And I have the, um, the monthly overview here. I don't like this divider. It's so plain. It doesn't say like bookish to me at all. So there's the October monthly page. I don't think I'm going to use the pages in a traditional weekly format anymore. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one week be one book and then another be week be another book and then another week be another book and so on. And that is going to work for me because I do tend to read like three to four books at a time. And even if I, you know, am only reading two books at a time, what I might do is, you know, do two weeks for one book and two weeks for the other book. Um, so that way I just have more room to write. And especially if I'm not reading like four books at a time, I might do something like that. So that way, what I might do is like decorate all of the pages at the beginning of the month according to whatever books I'm reading. And then when I'm, whenever I'm reading about a particular book or whenever I'm reading a particular book, I can go to that section and just journal in it about whatever it is I'm reading. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So there we go. We have the book pages for the month of October, the November overview. I'll clip in these guys at some point. Okay, what do I have next here? The next section that I have, um, so I have, again, scrapbook paper dividing the sections. And I have, after that, uh, my for lizard section. So this is my YouTube channel section. And for this uh, section, I use the Jungle Vibes Planner. And for the monthly, overview i like um giving myself a sticker for every video i publish and then writing down how many views it got and so that way i kind of just see at a glance how many videos i made during the month as well as which ones were the most popular and i use a color block vertical uh layout for my for lizard uh planner and this is basically my youtube planner um, it helps me decide when I want to film, edit, publish, and all of the things associated with a YouTube channel. And I have been so, so busy this, this entire month. And this last week in particular, I didn't film at all the past weekend. And when I don't film on the weekend, I really don't tend to film during the week days because I'm just really busy with work. I don't have the time to do that, especially with um, uh, the shorter days, the longer nights. I just, I film with um, daylight and so if I'm not home by a particular time, I really can't film and I generally tend to leave my house um, while it's still dark. So I just don't have time in the morning either. So this week here, oh, I had such a good time making this spread and i was really motivated to work on my youtube stuff but i just did not this week and that just that happens you know it's 
totally fine. So I'm gonna keep this page because it has the October overview on it. And then I'm going to return these pages back into the planner that it came from, which this is the Jungle Vibes uh, planner. And I actually am gonna go ahead and put the cover back on the discs because it's been just sitting naked this whole time. Uh, because I was using this planner cover for the cover of my like entire planner and so I just um, I just had this naked planner just sitting around so I'll return these pages to the planner and I'm gonna take out the month of October here uh, this is a really cute divider cover I love that so we're just gonna pop that on my pile and I'll leave this planner out because I still need to take off the back cover from this guy and put it on here. All right, and so this is the last planner section that I have in here. It's actually my thickest section because I actually, um, I actually have two months in here. I have the month of August as well as the month of September because I love this section so much that I just like having it to look through. But I'm gonna go ahead and put back all of those, all of these months, uh, just because they're really thick and I kind of want to reduce my planner size a little bit. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take out most of the pages here. So I have the July um, divider in this section. And by the way, this, uh, this planner, th these planner pages are from this planner. I don't know what it's called, but it is a vertical classic happy planner and it has these beautiful red gold flowers on the front and the gold script that says you are made to bloom. And all of the dividers have this like realistic floral uh, design to them. And I have the July divider here um, because I just love how it says collect beautiful moments on it. I think that's really relevant and so I also have the July monthly overview here because um, I think it's so so stinking cute I love how it turned out there I think I'm gonna go ahead and return these to uh, the planner that um, that it came from even though I just, I love this planner page so much because it's me and my boyfriend looking cute. And I've been holding on to this, these pages in my planner since July because I just love them so much. But same with this August overview. Um, it's a picture of my family here. And I just, I think it's time for me to put them away and, you know, take new photos and make new cute pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and return these to the planner that they came from. This is the August monthly overview and then um, August weekly pages. So this is my scrapbook in case you haven't noticed, uh, you can't tell. Uh, it's my scrapbook planner and so I t do tend to plan in it in that when things are coming up, events, you know, uh, reunions, whatever, what have you, dinners, um, this is everything to do with my social life, so family, friends, you know, anything to do with being social. Um, it's also my memory planner as well, so even if I do things by myself and I, I go like check out like a cool, you know, park by myself or something, I'll still kind of journal about it in here. So it doesn't necessarily have to, you know, just be about um, things I do with other people. But this is my memory planner, my scrapbook section, and I have so much fun putting this together. And so this is just some inserts I have of a backpacking trip I went on. And if I, you know, if a week, if I have a really eventful week, like I went on vacation or something, and I just have so many pictures that don't fit on the weekly spread, I'll go ahead and use scrapbook paper to make these inserts. Um, so I have more room to put like photos and stuff. And this is my September overview here. I actually never decorated this, which is shocking because usually I tend to decorate and like put photos my favorite photos here and I just never went ahead and did that I might go back and decorate this page at some point um, but I'm gonna return it to the planner for now 
and then this is the September monthly overview. I always struggle with the monthly overviews. I feel like I never can decorate them very well. Um, so this is uh, the first week in September. I had this awesome Chicago trip. So again, I have more inserts here because I just took so many photos and had so many good memories. I just had to add some more inserts there. And then uh, we have the rest of the month of September. And let's see. And then this was the last week in September here. And I actually still haven't decorated this past week because I tend to print out photos and such. And that usually takes me a couple of days to do. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these pages in uh, for the next planner and I'll go ahead and return these to um, into the overall planner and then lastly I just have some filler paper here um, I I just have some filler paper in the back in case I you know want to pull for filler paper and then that's it so I'm gonna pull off these rings here finally put this uh, cover or this back cover back on the planner it came from and return that to my planner stack so then we have the month of October here um, let's see it's very very pretty and we'll add that there okay so the next thing is to decide what planner cover I want to use and um, I'm already I think I'm going to be using these uh, rose gold uh, expander discs these are metal but for the cover Mm, I think I might go with this Mickey Mouse, uh, this Mickey Mouse, um, from the Oasis line. It's not super fall, but I think, I think it's cute, and, um, I've been, I, I kind of want to use this one, and I might stick with this cover page. I'm tempted to go back to this cover page, because this seems like a little bit more fall to me. But I still really like using this one. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this cover page. Um, and, okay, I'm just going to put my metal expander discs on my cover pages. actually don't have um i don't have a like a, a scrapbook paper dividing the section from the previous one because i was using that july divider to do that and because i don't have that now 
um, I don't have the like a divider. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one um, in a minute here. But first, I'm gonna put in these pages. We have the October overview, the October monthly. Perfect. So let me go find some scrapbook paper that I can use to divide this section. These tape adhesives are amazing, but they're just, they're so expensive. I always use a 50% off coupon whenever I am buying those tape adhesives. So I'll align that, perfect. Love how it came out. And then I can just pop this in to the rings as my little divider there. And then I can, pop this there. Now I need to get some paper clips. Okay, I have my paper clips here. I got these at Daiso, which is a little Japanese store um, uh, in Southern California. Absolutely love that store. And let's see. So I'll just pop two paper clips here. That way I can go straight from this divider to the week that I'm still working on and then my October monthly and then so on so there we go and I think that's it we've set up our planner and it's actually a little bit it's a bit thin it's like it's a little bit thin for um, for the expander rings. So I'm thinking of trying to switch in one of the planner sections from my other planner into this planner so that way it's not so thick. Um, so let me see, what, is, what can I switch over? I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe my spirit, my spirit section can be switched over. Let's see. This is my like faith and spirituality section. And I think, I think I could switch it over. go back into here and I'll quickly flip through it and then put in my bookmarks as well and um, as well as my Japanese charts so and I'll okay there we go so I'm just quickly gonna flip through this uh, just to give you like that overview of how this planner um, finally came out I'll just pop in this last bookmark here um, for like any filler paper I want to add in the back in case I ever want to do that. You know, I, I'll go ahead and add some filler paper in the back. Might as well, right? In case I ever want to reach for it, I'll have some there. 
plus I could, you know, I, this, this planner could use some thickening up since it is on expander discs and I feel like it is, um, it could use the extra thickening up. Okay, and that's it everyone. This must have been like an hour long video. I hope it's not that long whenever I get through editing and uploading it because I personally don't mind like a long video, but I do know that, you know, <laughs> time is money and I don't want to just always put out super long videos. I do want to have shorter videos in my lineup for you to enjoy. But uh, sometimes I just have longer epic videos. So I hope you've been enjoying those longer videos. But anyways, um, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And thanks so much once again for stopping by and watching my videos. I do really appreciate it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!